What's going on guys? Nat up because of DXP Realty. Hope everybody's having an amazing day. This question I get quite a bit. It's what are some of my habits or some of the habits that I've seen with other agents that are successful or that are doing well in their business? I will tell you this before as a disclaimer, success is really what you make it. So don't think that you know, I'm trying to tell you how to be successful is making a million dollars, you know, a year to 60, 70, $80,000. It just depends on you yourself. What do you see as success? But these are a couple of habits that I've seen, not only on myself, but also on other people that I've seen and that I work with and that I hear about that do these things. So the first one is one that I had to be taught from the beginning. Now, keep in mind, guys, these uh, habits, even if you've been many years in the business or just starting out, you just got your license yesterday or today, who knows, right? But these are things that are definitely going to help you out if you implement them correctly and you keep them, keep them in mind. But number one is being proactive and managing your time to get ahead. Uh, personally, me, myself, when I first started, I had no clue what was going on. I had no idea what I was needing to do, but being proactive helped me being able to, you know, get out there, get out there, meet people, tell people, you know, that I was doing this business and just making, making sure that I managed my time enough to get ahead. Pretty much an effective real estate agent is not a passive agent, but the person that's getting out there uh, the person that's going to be proactive is not also going to be dictated by the market so if you're the type of person that's like you know the market's slow there's no business uh, not really if you're proactive you're active you're doing something to get out there and get that business no matter if it's hot or cold you're going to get yourself in deals Guys, I'm telling you, it's something that you don't see until you're actually in it. You know, you're sitting there and you're thinking, man, nothing's, nothing's happening. There's nothing going on. Of course nothing's happening because you're not making it happen. So you got to be proactive. You got to manage your time so that way you can get ahead. What I, and I'm looking at my notes right now, just at the top of my head, really, um, the things that I see in being proactive and managing your time is the type of person that always says that they don't have enough leads or they have a lot of leads, but then you don't act on them. Being proactive doesn't necessarily mean getting those leads, but also if you have those many leads is actually reaching out to those leads, you know, following up. You know, a lot of things that I see here is not only just the lead generation side, but following up, make sure you meet with the clients, making sure that you meet their needs. I mean, proactivity embodies a lot of things, but a person that is a proactive person that's getting out there doing things, doing their job really is going to be the person that succeeds and that stays ahead of the game. Uh, number two, the second habit that I see a lot is beginning with the end in mind. So I hear a lot of negativity and I've seen it more often now that things are kind of shifting and some agents are a little bit newer. Uh, even myself in the beginning, you know, I ended up coming in where the markets has been hot and even now it's still hot. But like I said, if you get in your own head and you start thinking the market's shifting, is it going to be worse? Is it going to be a lot, lot worse? Is it going to be 08 again? And Man, a lot of a lot of speculation, a lot of issues that agents bring upon themselves. But beginning with the end in mind, knowing that you have deals in mind and that you need to close those deals and dealing with those issues before they even become an issue. Basically, what I'm trying to say, guys, the agents that I see that have this mentality or this habit is the agents that before it even happens they already dealt with it. So pretty much it's game planning in a way where 
what you want to do is get more deals let's say you want to do that you already lead generated and you have them and they're on your contract the first thing you're going to think about is like oh my god i the only thing that's left now after going through 50 houses and two three months or whatever of going through homes and not finding the right one i only i can only imagine how they're going to react when we go to the inspection and something's wrong you're already creating issues for yourself before they even came up so the way i deal with these or i've seen also other agents deal with these is just having the mindset that basically before they happen you already know the outcome and the options for them so you basically put it on the you know put it in, on the table right all the cards on the table you know you want to make sure that you're ahead of the game everything has to be Everything that you're seeing here habit wise is just staying on top of yourself as an agent and being ahead of the game. So with this one, just having the end in mind, what do you want to do? You want to make more, you know, per year, you want to make more per month. You want to close more deals, get the fam, get your family, you know, more trips, more financial uh, freedom, whatever it is that your end game or your end is have that always in mind and from there guys that's what's going to help you deal with those issues before they even come up when it comes to inspection what if they ask me you know about my commission at the listing appointment before you do any of that always have the end in mind because that's only going to make it so much easier for you when you have those issues come up pretty much so that's number two number three it's really simple is putting things uh in perspective relationships before ourselves and this is more so you know just being able to have a relationship with your clients with your friends your family as well as your colleagues the people you're going to be working with on a daily basis which is you know other agents brokers uh, lenders people that are going to be helping you on a daily best basis so pretty much an effective agent that's you know, doing well in the business that's successful to a point is going to have that in mind. Relationships before the sales. I can't tell you how many times some that we've gone through this. You know, I've been doing this for, let's say, by April, it's already five years, so about four and a half years already. You know, it's easy to get lost in so many sales and lose relationships as you go. But those relationships after that deal is done is what's going to last longer so if you build the relationship with your colleagues you know and make sure that you work together to make the deal better for both the buyer as well as you know their seller or whichever side you're representing you know the easiest way to do it is you know finding that happy medium and working with each other now that also goes with lenders it's just making sure you keep that relationship strong um, now for me what I find that helps me out a lot in my business is just making sure that I have a relationship or uh, let's say, you know, a lot of people could say a friendship, right? With your clients, your past clients, which end up turning into friends and family. Pretty much here, guys, just being able to have that relationship with them is going to give you not only that now business, but future business, which is going to help you continue doing this business and just building from you know that one deal to 10 deals you never know i've seen people where they've known a person you know for so long they helped them do one deal and then that person made some great investments with their life and now they're buying a million dollar home or more you never know right but pretty much that that was the the example that i saw with that person you know, going from a home that was 150000 cool, awesome, great deal. But imagine if that person wouldn't have kept up and they wouldn't have built that relationship with that one person. Who do you think would have benefited from that man or that woman, you know, making those investments and now wanting to buy that upwards of a million dollar home, right? So if you have that in mind that you need to build relationships and not don't do it, you know, for selfish reasons either and thinking, well, 
I- I'm gonna become friends with this person because you never know. And that said, you know they may they may make themselves millionaires, and now I got a million dollar deal. That's not the point. The point is for you to build relationships so they can feel comfortable with you because you're going to be looking out for them. Not for yourself, but for them. That's what a relationship is. Looking out for the person that you're helping. Doing it with the right intentions. Building those relationships. At the end of the day, what good comes in, good comes out and it goes to you. So always have that in mind. And that's a habit of mine that I try to keep in mind when I do my business. And that's what's been helping me, you know, not only help those people, I I cannot tell you how many times I've had, you know, just calls from people that I haven't even helped buy a home or sell their home. And they refer me friends and family because of, you know, me showing that genuine relationship building with my clients, my friends, my family now, you know, on social media and they see the happy faces they see the smiles they see everything they see that we're here to help and build relationships build a community and just you know help out you know if you have that in mind guys those three habits you know being like i said proactive being a person that always has the end game in mind of being able to help and then also staying on top of building building those relationships over yourselves and your deals those three habits and i have more for sure but those are the three habits that i see that are key on a lot of successful agents or great agents that turn out to be just amazing icon agents you know with their companies guys keep these in mind if you want me to elaborate a little bit more or if you want me to go ahead and go over other tips that I have or habits that I've seen just based on studying, you know, other agents as well as, you know, the, the examples that I get from agents around me. This is going to be key for you guys to not only succeed if you're a new agent, but also reinvigorate your business if you've been an agent for quite some time. Guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Again, if you found value in this video, please give us a like, comment, share, as well as subscribe so we can keep making videos. Thank you so much, guys. You have a good day. Bye-bye.